हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सोल्यूशन कोड दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ सी के एडिटर ट्यूटोरियल नाउ इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल सी हाउ टू स्टोर द इंफॉर्मेशन और टेक्स एंटर्ड हियर इन द डेटा बेस एंड रिट्राइव द सेम in uh, on any pages where you want to in this video we'll see how to store things in the database and in the next video we'll see how to retrieve and show it on the database so let's start without wasting a second first of all we need to create a database for it so we'll go to localhost slash php my admin and i will request you if you haven't seen my first video on c carrier please go back and see that this is a continuation video here we'll make a database named c carrier inside that we'll just uh, make a table content and here would be the content of it like two columns okay the first column would be like id and it would be an auto incremental primary key and the second one would be the content what we entered inside that this would be a var char and i will make this big 50000 characters long just save it here so yes we are set up with it our table has been created named content inside the ck editor so okay so let's do one thing let's make a button here mm, in the type button okay input type let's make it as submit and do one thing we'll make everything here inside a form so that we are going to post data so we'll just make a form and we'll set the action of the form to the same page and method would be post okay and we'll just close a close a form Let's see how it looks. Submit. Okay. If you want to change the text of it, then just give it a value as insert. This would be referring to us like insert these things in the database. Okay. So. once we click on it the page reloads that means the form has been posted but nothing has been entered and not, we haven't written any scripts so nothing has happened so let's do that okay so when we have clicked it clicked on the form let's write some script for it okay now the name given to the text editor is editor so what we'll do is first we'll grab everything first we'll check if is set dollar underscore post what are we going to set check if is set let's check that if the editor is is set okay then what we are going to do is we'll just make a variable name text and we'll store everything here post and we'll store whatever has been entered inside the editor in the text so when we echo we must see 
the text let's check the script whether it's working well or not okay so how and let's give some styling like bold italic and give it a give it some font size bigger than everyone like 28 and anything else I want to do is like this okay and when we click on insert yes and we have got the value so this script is running well now what I have to do is I have to insert this in the database so first of all I need to make the connection of it connect to DB okay for that I'm going to use dollar connection so my SQLI underscore connect and inside that we are going to pass four things the first thing is the host which is local host second thing is the username which is root third thing is a password which is blank in my case and fourth thing is the database CK editor I think we are correct our database name is CK editor and it's correct so once everything is entered let's check this connection or die throwing in message like error okay so let's see this and when we click on insert something happened okay okay that's uh, no error message has been thrown I thought we haven't removed our echo so I was expecting an echo there but we have removed it and the database connection is successful otherwise we would have got the error like if suppose I do mistake in writing my database name and uh, when I reload and do something and just post it here you can see that I got a warning as well as error which was the message printed by us that means we have successfully connected to our database now what I have to do is I have to insert the data that's it now I have to insert the data in the database so for that I'll write a query my SQLI underscore query in the first parameter I'll pass the connection to which database I want to fire that query and then I'll just insert into that table name content I guess we have given the name as content yeah table name content with two parameters like ID and content so ID is an auto incremental so I just want to insert the content so values what is the value of it it's like nothing but the text what we are getting okay now we'll check if this query has been executed then echo added into DB else throw some errors so that we can know error while inserting okay we have missed the semicolon so this would give us the error now let's check we have entered like 
tons of text and given some styling to this and we have just clicked on the button inserted and added into the database now let's check whether this is really added some stuff in the database or not yes it has added and you can see the format in which the content has been stored so this is an extremely good thing about CK editor it stores the format in the HTML format so it's very easy while we're driving so hope you like this video thank you for watching guys please stay tuned for the next video